In today's video, I want to talk more about fatigue and how it is affecting my life because I sometimes have uh, extreme fatigue related to my idiopathic intracranial hypertension and it's really, really devastating sometimes. And it feels like you are being run over by a truck or something like that. But anyway, someone made a comment uh, on one of my videos saying that uh, we don't talk that much about the extreme fatigue and this condition and I thought about it and generally I feel that we don't talk about fatigue that much in regarding to idiopathic intracranial hypertension or other um, chronic diseases so uh, actually a couple of weeks ago I just picked up my phone when I had a severe and extreme fatigue attack and I started recording and I think I'm going to play that now because then you will see exactly how it is for me when I have an extremely powerful fatigue attack. Okay so this is an example of how a real fatigue attack feels for me. I feel completely but out and I am just so tired and I have been in my bed for about uh, four or five hours now I actually slept some hours and you just can't believe how extremely tired I am at the moment and I just want to fall asleep but I have to be awake because I am awaiting a delivery to my home with a package and I need to be awake for that and also I don't know if you can hear it but uh, there is some uh, music playing outside really really loud music and it is just so annoying because all the sound is, is just so annoying for me it is just too much for my brain it feels like my brain can't handle all the sounds and actually i am in my bedroom now and i had to close the door because i couldn't stand the sound of my uh, washing machine because it felt like i experienced the sounds like 10 times worse than before and I hope that uh, not any one of you experienced this kind of fatigue because it is just so draining and it's not fun at all and it completely drains you out of every energy you have. It's not like a normal tiredness where you just feel tired and you don't really want to do something. It is something that makes you so tired that you physically and mentally am not able to do anything. That is how it feels for me at the moment. Everything feels so tiresome to do. And I actually have problems and I actually have problems finding words just for talking like this. Maybe you can hear that I am stumbling a little bit on my words and that is just because my brain is so tired, I think. And I think you get the point now. And just bear in mind that that fatigue attack that I had was so powerful and so strong that I almost started to cry. It was one of the worst fatigue attacks that I have experienced in a very long time. So now you have seen the video and now I just want to say a couple of things regarding my fatigue and how I deal with it. Something that is a contributing factor to my fatigue is... Uh, stress levels if my stress levels are high it is much easier for me to get fatigue but sounds is also something that can get me fatigued and just impressions overall so i try to reduce the amount of impressions i have and i try to 
reduce uh, my stress levels and I have noticed that I much easier get fatigued if um, I sleep bad or uh, if I don't eat and drink well so I try to keep up with that also but it, in general it is very hard to battle fatigue and if you have fatigue please leave a comment down below and explain how you deal with it because it is pretty difficult sometimes and something that might work for me might not work for you and if if something works for me then I'm glad if it works but maybe it will not work it is just it's so it is so difficult to to say what works and works not you have to find that out for yourself and if you want to know more about fatigue and idiopathic intracranial hypertension check my other videos because I vlog about my life and my disease and um, check them out if you want to and uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or leave a comment it helps me so uh, thank you for that and see you in the next one bye